Hi y'all, it's Sky, and thanks for visiting my channel. Welcome to another Diamond Art Club sneak peek. I'm very excited to share this one with you guys. And thank you very much Diamond Art Club for sending me this kit. This one is Day Fishing at the Mill by Dominic Davison. I'm so excited to open up a Dominic Davison. I don't think I have any kits by Dominic Davison in my stash currently, which is amazing because I have like 30 on my wish list. But anyway, that's beside the point. I hope you can kind of see it. Obviously, we're going to see this much bigger. We're going to see it on the canvas, but I just want you to get an idea of how gorgeous this is artwork is. This is a square drill kit and it is going to be 33.1 by 23.6 inches or 84 by 60 centimeters. Okay, are you guys ready to see what's in this box? Before I open it up though, I do want to quickly go over the release information. So this kit is going to be available tomorrow. That will be Saturday, February 18th, and it's going to be at 9 a.m. Pacific time or 12 p.m. Eastern time for Diamond and Ruby level members or 30 minutes later for the general access release. So, I just, whoa, I almost dropped this. <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys know those release windows so you can make sure that you're ready, that you are getting notifications if you have that on the Diamond Art Club app or that you're signed up for emails that you can do through the website or you can just set your alarm. Some people just set their alarms. Whatever is your preferred method of getting informed about your release window. Make sure you are ready for that. Here is our toolkit and well let's just let's just pull it all out it's just ready to come out there the smaller sticker it kind of it kind of already stuck but let's see it will peel off there rather easily so we'll go ahead and take a look at this while I put it back on this little piece of paper. Okay, so this is the smaller sticker. Now you can get another view of that gorgeous image. So this is just going to give you the same information that we already talked about, the title of the artwork, the artist, and then the dimensions. So a lot of people will put this sticker on the side or the bottom of their box because that will help them identify it in their storage. Uh, other people put them in their log books. There are, there are plenty of different things that you can do with that, but just be aware that you have one of those. And then we have the toolkit, which got a little little crushed but pops right back up so I'm going to open this up and show you all of the contents but I did just want to quickly tell you that this is the newer style toolkit there is an older style still floating around that comes in a different bag but they both have mostly the same items there are a few that are included in this one and not the other but they are not necessary to get started so whichever toolkit you got you have everything you need to get going on your kit Okay, I have opened up that toolkit so we can look at the contents. First, we've got a bag of baggies that you can use for kitting up or for storage. We've got multi-placers. So this is a seven and a four placer if you enjoy multi-placing. Also, since this is a square drill kit, we've got these tweezers with the Diamond Art Club branding on there and this plastic cover because they are very, very sharp, so be careful. And we have got this diamond painting tray with a stopper. We have also got our red heart waxes in this cute little container with a lid. And We've got our diamond painting pin with a matching grippy or squishy that just slides right over the top for some added comfort while you're diamond painting. This one is this pretty yellow. Have I got one of these? I don't know. I don't remember seeing a yellow in a long time, but this one is very pretty, very sunny. But the color does vary, so you may not get this color, but all the colors are really pretty. And then we've got our washi tape. Oop, let's turn that over. Gosh, this is really pretty. Like, oh, a color combo that I wouldn't 
really expect to see, but it really works. Like all of these pretty florals on a black background. I really like that. Very unique. Anyway, washi is typically used around the sides of your diamond painting canvas. There's a little bit of glue that sticks out over the edge of the drill field so it's not going to get covered up with your drills. And you might want to put the washi there just to keep sleeve fuzzies or dust from getting on that part. You can also use this for sectioning off your canvas if you enjoy doing that. And then, last but not least, we have this pretty cover minder. And it's pink, so obviously this is, this is definitely my vibe. I love it. A cover minder has two magnets on the back. They separate just like that. The smaller one goes underneath your canvas, and then you pull your plastic cover back, and then put this one on the top, and they will... They'll snap together just like that. It'll hold that plastic out of your way while you're doing your diamond painting. Okay, I have got the toolkit put away and now we can open up this bag, pull out this canvas and some other items that we will also look at. All right, let's see which side the drills wanna shimmy out of. Here they are. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at them. Oh my gosh, that is so much color. How pretty. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. Not as good a view, but I'm trying to look for ABs. I think, I think you see one right there? Uh, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I always like to guess what they might be. Is that a, is that a pink AB? <gasps> I think that might be a pink AB. Oh, I'm really excited for that. That might be a red. Okay, okay, okay. I won't waste you guys this time. That's just, that's my favorite part. Okay, also with the drills came this thank you booklet. Inside here, we've got some QR codes that you can scan. This one will take you to a step-by-step -step video on how to diamond paint. This one will take you to the VIP Facebook group. There's a coupon code in here. And then you can use one of these on the back to take you to the Diamond Art Club app. Just use the one that goes with the type of phone you have. If you guys are hearing Nugget snoring, well, I guess if you're hearing an unidentified noise, that's Nugget snoring. A lot of times on these videos, I'll apologize for Nugget snores. And then when I'm editing, I realize that you couldn't hear it at all. So I, if you can hear it and you don't want doggy snores, then I, then I apologize. <laughs> Anyway, here is the larger sticker sheet. So now we can really get a good look at this image. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so jealous of this dude here. I want to be sitting there. Anyway, the larger sticker sheet has the same information as the smaller one, except it also includes a start and end date here. So this is really good for a logbook. Also over here, we can see how many colors that we have, but since this one has a ton of colors, we have a second sticker sheet included so that we can add these extra stickers here. So we actually have 73 colors. And then we can look right here at the color code and any color code under 150 will tell us that it is an AB. So we have five ABs. That's actually quite a few ABs. And we will see, oh, there, there, it is pink. Okay, we will look at all of the drills thoroughly in just a minute, but I, I am excited that, that I did see that pink. There is a pink one, but we will look at those in just a little bit. Okay, also, I, before I put this down, I did want to show you that each one of these stickers peels off individually so they can go on the container with the drill color when you're kidding up, and that makes that process super, super simple. Okay. I am wondering if this is all going to fit in the shot. Maybe I should clear off all of these other things. Nah, let's just go for it. Let's see, did I just, yep. I just flipped it over the wrong way so it'd be upside down. Oh, there's our dude. <laughs> okay. Oh, so much color already. So many pretty colors. Wow. 
I am going to adjust the camera so that you can see this a little better. Also, I'm going to flip this over and roll it backwards so it will flatten all the way out and we can we can see it not folding up on the sides there. This will flatten out on its own without me doing anything. Diamond Art Club canvases are great about self-flattening, but just for the purposes of this video so we can look at it right now, I will roll it. And since this is a poured glued canvas, it's, it's not going to hurt anything for me to do that. I also want to give you a full overhead view because I'm seeing the size of this and I know that we're not going to be able to see it all in one frame, so I'm going to give you a look at it. I was correct that I'm not going to be able to fit it all in one frame, but I think I think I did okay. I I've, I've got more in it than I thought I was going to be able to. Something I have noticed about myself and landscapes is well, other than the gorgeous scenery, of course, that is my favorite part about landscapes, but I absolutely love when you don't I mean, you do take in the whole image when you see it, but you don't necessarily take in every little piece of it and I love finding animals like I I don't know I just I freaking love <laughs> opening up one of these and seeing all of the little animals that I didn't really process when I looked at the image like I, I knew they were there but I just didn't really take it in <laughs> look at this guy or girl right here and then these pretty birds up here. I didn't really notice them until I looked at the canvas. And th they're so much fun whenever you are actually working on one of these kits. Also, when you get to paint a little duck or a little bird, it's, I don't know, part of the fun of landscapes for me. I don't know if anybody else feels that way. Anyway, I've gone off on a tangent, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, what we are going to do is look at the drills one by one. So if you don't like this part, I will leave a timestamp or a chapter down below where you can skip to the next part, which is where we are going to look at where all the ABs go. 300, two bags of 905, 400, 3842, 945, 414, 935, and three bags of 3818, 3325, 413, two bags of 301, three bags of 904, 782, 310, 160, 775, 3843, two bags of 906, 741, 827, 141. So that's our first of those five ABs. This is the white one. Now, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and you can see that these have a special coating on the top that give them an iridescent shine quality. This is a regular drill. I'm trying to make it shine a little bit so you can see how it sparkles, and then you can see how this one has a different quality there. 
They're very, very pretty. And then $8.98 and $9.38. One sixty one, seven forty, nine oh seven, eight oh three, four fifty one, seven forty two, nine ninety six, thirty sixty four, eight twenty four, and ecru. Now I have never had a bag of ecru. Like I know that it's one of the DMC colors and it's just for whatever reason it's a name and not a number but I've never gotten a diamond painting kit with ecru so let me know if you guys have or if this is a a new color for diamond art club because I'm not sure I just haven't seen it before 3790 3787-648-611 3864, 3041, 3852, 120. So this is our second AB, this pretty blue. My goodness. Oh, that is really nice. I wonder if that's in the water. We, we will check and see where it is, but it just gives me such a, a ocean or water vibe. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. 939, 3072, 152, 327, 841, 3766, 159, 550, 3837, 107. So this is our third AB, this gorgeous red. And then 3042 and 3822. 947, 3722, 208, 554, 150, 3856, 498, 112. So this is our fourth AB. I love this one. I mean, it, it looks kind of like a drab neutral when you see it like this, but every time I have used what I would consider to be a neutral, like like a soft brown or a soft ivory or something as an AB, they are my favorite AB on the whole canvas. They just, they add so much. I don't know why, but they are so good. Anyway, 336, 341, 927, 315, 317, 3819, 321, 3721, 612, 113, there she is. That's the last AB and it's that pretty, pretty pink. I am so excited to see where this goes. There's not much of it, but I bet it's gonna be so nice. And then we have 209 and 743. Okay, we are done with drills, so if you've skipped this part, then welcome back. We are going to look at where these ABs go. So we'll start out with our first AB, this pretty, pretty red. So there's not much red that you can spot on the canvas. So, of course, we know there's going to be some down here in the boat, which is really the bulk of it. There's, there's a nice line of it all across the boat. There's a few little speckles right here, and then a few speckles right here throughout some, some flowery sections. And then on this side, there's more flowers. And then there is a bit of the AB in, in, a, in the truck here where the, the light is kind of shining on it so it makes that section a little brighter and then a little tiny bit here in our guy's tackle box or cooler i'm not sure exactly what it is i think it's a tackle box but there are a few of those ab's in there but that is all for the red 
And then the next one is going to be, uh, we have a lot of babies, so I'm, I'm here sorting through them. The next one is this one, this pretty light brown, the 112. And that one is going to be down here a bit through these rocks, not not in huge chunks or anything, but just just a few little spots to add some shine there. And then over here on this side, same thing. But then the majority of this is used through the mill area just to add some shine. It's not in any blocks or anything, just kind of dotted throughout a few here and there, just probably adding some, some texture to this area. And then there are a few back here behind that tree in the background. And that is all for the brown AB. And then next we have the pink. If I can sort it out from this stack, the pink. Here it is. Not very much in here, but not very much pink that you can spot on this canvas either. So it is going to be flowers. There are, I don't even know if you can see them from this distance away, but there are some little pink flowery sections through here and then kind of a widespread area right there. And then same thing on the other side of the canvas, there are a few little spots that have some pink flowers, even a few behind our guy right there. And that is all of the pink one. So the next one is going to be the pretty, pretty blue, which I hoped would be in the water. And it is a bit in the water. It's this really bright blue down here, not widespread through the water. The place where it is more widespread is actually in the sky area, which obviously makes a lot of sense. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but it is a lot up there at the top of the canvas that brighter blue section. And then there is a bit in the truck. Not, not, most of this that you're seeing that's bright blue is not that AB, it's just kind of outlining there. And a bit down here. And then there are a few little confetti pops of it in our guy's shirt. And then lastly, Whoops, we've got the white AB. This is the chunkiest bag, but it's not used in big chunky sections. It's kind of all over the place. So I think it's mostly used as an outline, but there are some places like right through here and then all of these little confetti pops where it's added by besides some flowers and through here in the water. It is outlining these sections on like the grill of the truck there. There's some outline in the water wheel and then this whole line right here. And then all the way down the side of the roof there, That that is all that AB. It is also outlining the windows. And then we can see a bit of it in the water and then some more in the flowers over here. And then over here used as kind of highlight on these, the snow caps on the mountains or where the light is hitting the mountains. These just bright, bright sections. That is that white AB. And I think maybe even those clouds up there, yes. So the clouds are also that AB. So quite a bit more of this used, but it's not just in one place. It is all over. But that is all of the ABs. So the last thing we have to talk about, now I have gone and trapped all the ABs under the canvas. <laughs> the last thing we have to talk about is color blocking versus confetti. And I think that you can see, now I'm dropping all the ABs. I think you can see that we have a good bit of confetti going on. But there are some sections where you could you could probably enjoy your multiplacer for a few minutes. And then up in the, the sky area, there are a few sections where you could stick with one color for a little while. But mostly as, as landscapes 
do tend to go. This is more of a confetti piece, but I am liking the size of this. I mean, it's it's big, okay? I mean, it's it's going to be big. The landscapes are pretty big, but for a while we were seeing landscapes that were just kind of out of control huge, and this one is not out of control huge. I mean, an 84 centimeter by 60 centimeter, that is not... Uh, I, I always have to speak for myself because I think that is not an intimidating size for a landscape. But some people, I'm sure that that still is an intimidating size. So I definitely don't want anybody to be overwhelmed and say, well, Sky told me to buy it because it's small. No, 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 it's not small. <laughs> so definitely be aware this this is a large canvas, but it's it's not falling off the sides of my table here. It It can't all be in the frame but it is not making me feel stressed just by the sheer size of it. And the amount of confetti is not making me feel stressed either. But if I had to pick a section that looked chaotic to show you, if you were thinking about trying out a piece like this, let me just bump the camera a bunch, I'm so sorry. I feel like this section up here is where most of the busyness can be seen. So you're, you're seeing a lot of symbol changes through here, a lot of colors that are similar, but different symbols like this, this J beside this square, like the, the symbols are very clear, but you, you will be changing to a bunch of different greens, all in this same section, a bunch of different like light brown colors here. So just this, this is kind of what confetti looks like but it works up so so beautifully so definitely if you're wanting to give confetti a try I would say absolutely this is going to look great go ahead and grab this one and for sure if you're a landscape lover if you love the Dominic Davison's like so many of us do then yeah this is this is definitely what you want it is very very well rendered and I'm loving the color choices really loving everything about this. Okay, you guys, before I go off on another tangent and start rambling again, I will go ahead and end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and remember that this is going to release tomorrow, so be ready if you are interested. And again, thank you Diamond Art Club for sending me this kit, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!